So you have the sweet tooth, you eat the whole pizza by yourself, and everybody's angry that you have that, right? That ability. Everybody's to angry that, that, yeah, I eat everything, nothing happens, and they eat everything, and something happens to me. Size zero? <laughs> zero to two. I have a little here. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, that's we are, that, that is going to be, that's the promo of this interview right now. I have a little here. This is going to be really good. <laughs>
and everything is far. You cannot just jump into somebody and mm -hmm. just like, oh, let's go for coffee. Mm -hmm. And nobody walks. I love walking. Yeah, you know? they drive to get their mail. They come out of their driveway. They go, I got my mail. I was the only one walking in LA, and everybody's looking at me like I'm a homeless person, you know? <laughs> Giving her money. For my yoga or something, uh. I, would be, I would be walking. It's a, it's a little of a walk, but it's okay. But everybody was like, wow, she's from might be poor. <laughs> you know the mentality? I know, I know. Um, I if I don't have a Ferrari, I'm probably right. nobody. I'm sure somebody would have bought you a Ferrari in a second. I mean, yeah, those guys, come on, I was out there. Some they, of them, yeah. yeah, I mean, there's things you have to do for that Ferrari that are just unquestionable. And but you, don't you know want what? To People in LA, I know some photographers, for example, that would buy Ferrari just to have it with their last money. Or yeah, like, they can't they pay, pay rent, money. They but they, exactly, they got the Ferrari out of the Ferrari, they have the Ferrari yeah. and that's all they post, oh. and they're like, yeah, I have the Ferrari. And I'm like, Absolutely. dude, you're barely making money. You have this. You four roommates. Four roommates, this like a Ferrari. Yes. Good for you. Like yeah. really. On your, it's on too side. much show. I mean, people yeah, fake it and make it in New York too, but LA is insane. It's, it's yeah, stuff but they here do. you can walk out outside. I don't know, wearing your boyfriend clothes and who cares, mm -hmm. and, and slippers and uh, hair like this, whatever. There you have to be like perfect. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like that. I did a little bit of Miami, uh, of Miami mm -hmm. a few months too, but it wasn't my thing though. It's a little to chill. Mm -hmm. it's, I, it's great to go there for like a weekend, for a few days, to chill at the beach, the day, mm -hmm. the day. Did you dance? Yeah, I'm not a fan of clubs. No clubs? Yeah. Okay. Me either. Yeah, I don't like getting yeah. stepped on and having my exactly. drinks spilled. Oh my God. Oh, sorry, oh dude. God. There you this go, This happened to me twice last, uh, I went a little bit out this last two weeks mm -hmm. with my friends. We were celebrating something. Once the guy bumped, slip, slip, split something on, on, those? My, on my shirt. On those? Oh my ah! God. So I had to leave. You have to ensure that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I do. Yeah, a million a pop. Wow. Or I have to okay. write it down. Do not split. <laughs> do not spill, spill anything. Do not bump. Do not puncture. Nothing. Okay. And the, uh, this Friday or Saturday, also, like, all my pants, bam, jumped with, uh, like, soaked with a, a grapefruit margarita. No. But do you dance, though? Like, if I you're home and the music's oh, on, yeah. do, you, do you rock yeah, out? Yeah. Okay. What do you like? Do you like Beyonce, like Jay-Z? Do you like Ice Cube, Ice T? Do you like... Uh, I really need to get my Spotify list here. Do you like Adele? Do you like no, Rihanna? Some, some, some of the songs, you know? Okay. But I like, like I'm telling you, uh, I love Like J-Lo and Shakira, they just did the Super Bowl. I mean, you yesterday like, they killed it. They killed it at the Super Bowl? I loved it because they were playing all the songs that I was listening when I was growing up. Okay. So I was like, wow, I loved it. And they're like, these women are like 40, what, 43, 50. 50. Yeah. And they're killing they're, it. Forget about it. They're better than anybody. Do you ever want to act? I do act. You do act. I love it. See the background check we do on these people? Zero. We don't know Zero. anything. We don't even know. No, we don't even Google her. I, I didn't even know who she I was. I had to teach him to tell my name. Uh, okay, yeah. My name's here. And who are you? Oh, I'm here to be interviewed. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the we... prep work is phenomenal on our show. All right, so you act as well. Yeah, I actually went to acting school when I was... Really? Yeah, okay. A couple of years ago. What do you like to do? What, what is your kind of character, dream role? Is there Something someone... dramatic. Oh, dramatic. Okay. Or scary. Listen, I hate scary movies. I love but scary I movies. Mm, I'm afraid of them. Okay. But I would love to act in one. You want to be in a scary yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, to see it from and get like chased yeah. and everything, and someone's trying to kill you, and then you're running through yeah, the house, and that I'm kind running, of stuff. Or like action stuff with the guns. Absolutely. And people in like, like all Lara black. Croft kind of thing. That is exactly. It. That's my next uh, Halloween costume. Lara Croft. Yeah. Are um, you in love? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that guy is, dude, you got your answer right there. Something ain't right. Have you been in love? Yes. Yes. That's not enough. When were you in love? Was it uh, recently. the first? Recently. Yeah. Oh, this is good. No, this is bad. This is horrible. Okay. <laughs> Everything's bad. Yeah. How did it at least start? Beautifully, as usually. Of course. I mean, everything is like, you know, Shakespeare yeah, it starts off great. Yeah. Um, what, what was it about him? Like, what, what kind, what, who's a celebrity crushed? So I get an idea of what you like. I never date guys that I like. I have a crush on, let's say. Oh, that's hard. I have, like I told you before, I get, I can get attracted to someone's look, but it was for, it's for a second. Okay. But I love the personality. Like, no matter how you look, if your personal personal attracts me, there's something that I love about you. Okay. It's the personal then you're done. Crushes. Like I never, I have some crushes here and there. I would never date them. Got you. Because they never have what I'm looking well, for. Well, they don't follow through. There's nothing yeah. there. The substance is missing. But who are they? So at least we know that initial attraction. What is that like? Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, um, uh, T.I. Uh, was the last one. Okay, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. All right, Tom, I, I understand that one completely. Send him a text. 
You better, yeah, he better text you back. <laughs> I was just watching a lot of movies with him and I was like, wow, his accent, just his accent is worth it. Did you see him shot. when he played that British gangster with the brother? I just saw it. Oh, I Tom, oh, out. sorry. You nailed that role. Even yeah, yeah. I was no, like, Tom, oh God, come he's over. Amazing. Yeah, he I just saw talented. like four movies with him and he did this uh, TV show, uh, Peaky Blinders, that men are obsessed about. And I was watching only the parts when he was in. I was like, ah. Oh. Tom's on. Tom's on. I'm watching it. Awesome. Okay, so we know what you like. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. What else do you do, Maria? I'm a fashion designer. No, you're a fashion designer. Okay. I love it. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I was, I wanted to be a fashion designer since I was like 10. Okay. Can you imagine Maria like that? N now you're nine six. feet tall. I mean, <laughs> I'm not nine. You, you, she can dunk without jumping. Yeah. Okay. So you were you were a little <laughs> one when you were like yeah. four months old. Yeah. Yeah. I was say. sketching and sketching and sketching, mostly like women dresses. Always. Okay. And my mom has sketches till now. Oh really? Sketching and sketching and sketching. I want to get some of those sketches, mom. Send yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, I want to yeah. put them yeah, up on, yeah, yeah. on the thing. And then I mean, I was doing other things, but since I started modeling uh, and I was working with fashion people, I was like, okay, I can do it too. Like I learned a lot, a lot from the designers I was working with and from the people and how the entire like industry works. Mm -hmm. So I was like, when I moved to New York and get more settled in, I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to start that. Well, you're on the inside. Like you're, you're, yeah. you're an apprentice if you pay attention. You're yeah. watching what the best people in the world exactly. do. Exactly, and I learned from it. Mm -hmm. What do you like to design? What, what's, what's a Maria? Uh, co the sexy cocktail dresses and evening gowns, like red carpet gowns. Oh, okay. I love it. Perfect. Yeah, so I did a lot of that. Only that, pretty much. Do you have any samples made yet? Or do yeah, so you have I'll the samples and everything and, and you put them on the girls and stuff like that? you have any pictures that yeah, we could ever put up? Of course. I All right, I gotta have. Website for that. Oh, you yeah. do? You have a website? Yeah, I dress. I dress what is the name of your website? Lace and Angels. Oh, I like it. Lace and Angels. Sounds like a gentleman's club, but that's not my business. Seriously? It does. Lace and Angels. Oh. That sounds that's like four the... in the morning. Let's go to Lace no! and Angels, man. You're, you're Get killing me. You're Get killing my idea. No, is it it's, tastefully it's... done? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> nothing weird, nothing? No, nothing weird. Very classy, sexy. Like you. Elegant, yeah. What makes you happy? What is there like when you go home or is it friends? Is it food? Or is it you like reading? Um, what makes me happy? Nature. Nature? Yeah. Okay. I love being outside. Like I love New York, but I love to get away. Even upstate or Hamptons, I love to be there and just like be surrounded by trees and green and nature. And, beach. and doing like hikes and everything? Yeah, I love doing that. Okay. Or just walking in the forest or taking, like, taking Linda for a walk or something like just surrounded by nature. This is why I loved Asia so much because there's so much of it. There's mountains, there's waterfalls, there's like uh, islands beaches everything you can imagine jungles and elephants and all these elephants tampons. you ever yeah, tampons what'd you say <laughs> tampons, tampons. oh i was like no, we got tampons sure everywhere have a lot of tampons yeah too. oh there's tampons <laughs> all over there um crazy stuff with the me too movement and it has mm -hmm. to happen it's long overdue how do you feel about what's happening like one of the things i see as a, a kickback to the me too movement is yes the guys are horrible i think they should be in prison but is it going a little too far with some of the women, not the ones who've really had bad stuff, but that like even in a work environment, you can't say someone has nice hair okay. and you can't you know, talk to someone the way that you normally would or joke in maybe a playful way. Yeah. So I have two opinions about it. Okay. First one, of course it's horrible what's happening and I'm really uh, supportive of all this, those women that stand up and were telling their stories and throw it up. So it's actually can change. But I feel like a lot of people are overusing it. Like if you touch somebody, it doesn't mean it's a... I'm suing you. That was ah, a, that's exactly. sexist all. But this is what... That's when I get a little protective of men. Because if you touch somebody, it doesn't mean... You don't get so offended. Mm -hmm. Or if you're in a club, somebody slaps your ass. It's not a, a I don't know, sexual harassment. Right away, I'm not going to sue you. Mm -hmm. It's different when it's at work, but also I hate when people bring up stories from 20 years ago. You've been silent for 20 years when somebody, I don't know, touched your lap or something, and now finally you want to talk about it? Mm -hmm. That really pisses me off. Right. Like, after 20 years, don't say nothing. And then women became really sensitive to it. I understand I'm also very, like, femin feministic or... Uh, you're a you are a feminist. Yeah, I'm a little yeah. of a feminist and I protect mm -hmm. women and I'm 100% supporting them, but don't push it like to the, mm -hmm. the, to the point that it doesn't make sense, honestly. Right. Everybody's me too, me too, me too, but is it honestly somebody raped you or somebody right. did something? Sometimes men are just flirty and then... 
I don't well, know. they did Joe Biden because he touched the woman's yeah, shoulders. It's, nothing, it's like, it's oh nothing my, bad if somebody touches your shoulder. Right. Exactly. Don't take it like, oh my God, he right. wants to sleep with me and we're at work environment. And oh mm. my God, I'm going to sue you already. I've been assaulted. Exactly. If he does it every day, it's oh a little God, bit, you know. Too. Yeah, me too. So that's. And then the other Me parts. Too ones are the ones who benefited tremendously. Like, I think Harvey Weinstein so should be in jail people, for 100 years. Yeah, I understand. But there's a lot of people who went along with it, and they know who they are, yeah. and made tremendous careers, like A-listers. You know, I could have and done it And then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, times. it's so bad. Do you grab guys at clubs? No. No, you sure? No, I, I, I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm like, just leave me alone. <laughs> no, I'm how, like, how does a guy get through to you? Forgetting to pick you up. But somebody sees you and is like, wow, she looks really interesting, or I love her incredible sweater. How do they get over and talk to you? Or at least how, how do they, they try? Come up to talk to yeah, you? how do they come up to well, you? Well, it doesn't work high where you're from. Mm -hmm. Like, what? But if they say, so, if they joke, for example, make a joke, or they say something more interesting than that, or they ask some interesting question, not just like regular, how, how are you, where are you from? Mm -hmm. It catches my attention when okay. you see their personality a little bit. So they got to grab you or not, mentally. Oh, how beautiful you are. Let's go for coffee. I'm like, yeah, you haven't heard that before. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that works. So oh, coffee. I've oh, never had that before. Uh, Did you say or, I'm or, pretty? Or, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So something unusual is going to okay. catch my attention. Like you have big, horrible feet. Does that no, catch beautiful you? Feet. Yeah, beautiful feet. Yeah. Sure you do. Okay, right. We'll, we'll, we'll no, get a picture of her. I love school. when men are persistent. Like, I. Usually, oh, you don't make them do hard to get forever, do you? I did do, but I oh. like it. It's a game. You're hard to get. Goodbye. It's a game. I love to say okay, no so to a man to see if he's worth like coming. Okay. Worth even attention. If, if I'm gonna say no to him and he's not gonna come back or try something else, I'm like, it's not worth it. Because he doesn't have the desire. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't show have the that desire, the passion. That's how I actually met my boyfriend from before. That we so just, he pursued like, you for seven years. Oh, not for seven years, but a couple of months, like. Months, this like, poor guy. Please don't call me. I don't want you. I did, 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 did. And he was Those are some strong words, Maria. Yeah, I, I know. don't and he want would you. Always come back. It's a little different than I'm sorry, I'm busy Friday. Uh, I don't want you. But <laughs> that's is, more than that. That man hate, my was friend. chasing me for all the time, and there was other men that I said no to, and they were like, no, nah, okay, no, and no, and then next, lost, 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 lost case. Swipe but left. then listen, the, but then this guy was like chasing, chasing, chasing. I was like, okay, you're an interesting person. I love that you're passionate about this and that you're persistent. I love your stalker. It's beautiful. <laughs> so where'd you go the first time? Uh, like a date? Yeah. I mean, how we met. We were you went to Lace and Angels. <laughs> Very funny. Are you gonna destroy this for me? I swear to God. I will promote the hell you. out That's of it. A That's it. Sexual harassment against fashion my fashion harassment. <laughs> fashion harassment. Garment harassment. That's it. First case. My lawyer is coming tomorrow. That's right. Right here. <laughs> I probably have three suits pending right now already. I don't even care. Go yeah, ahead. Americans love to sue people. I'm, for nothing. I'm suing myself later, so don't worry about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So uh, you went on your first date. Where'd you go? So shit. Like this is I love sushi easy, so easy much. to seduce me. Like oh. if somebody says let's go for sushi, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I would go to sushi with a crackhead. Yeah. I love sushi. Where'd you go? Do you remember? Um, so he hit the button with the sushi, sushi right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sushi kura. Okay. I loved it. Actually, once now, the first day I didn't show up. I would have killed her. You didn't show up. Yeah. You better have a reason. What happened? Yeah. No. Ooh, I my just toenails didn't weren't want polished. It. No. Just was like, Did you let him no, know? No. I was like. No, it's too, too, too soon. Too yeah, soon. It was like, like five six minutes, minutes before, five. I was like, I'm not coming. But he kept going after me, which I loved. You got so issues. Every man you like, got issues. Oh, my God. So they have to prove like, themselves that much. That Can't you go out to date on sushi and then he says nice things and you have a great conversation? You cancel on him? Yeah, because I want to see if he's come back. He's going to come back and do more. What do you think his night was like when you canceled on him? So I'm sure he got somebody else. Or a friend or something. No. I think he, he had a great sushi for sure. Oh, he went by himself and cried into the I sake. Didn't, he didn't cry. Yeah. He yes, called actually. me the next day saying, hey, what are you doing tonight? He should That's have a life. dating book because obviously this guy knows what he's doing. But he's not the only one. Like, uh, I love the men that pursue me because otherwise there is no interest in me. You sound like an old Italian romance movie. Right. Where she walks down the street and she buys her fruit and the guy chases her and she says no and then another time she's whatever you know at a restaurant but she I says like no. That. Okay, all right, Sophia Loren, I got it. You've got your way. I heard that about Sophia Loren before. No, she's my dream. <laughs> I love her so much. No, I'd marry her even though she's like three hundred. <laughs> but uh, okay, so we nailed that stuff. You're horrible to date because you can't. I'm not. It just be persistent. goddammit. it. 
That's what I said, babe. <laughs> be persistent, goddammit. That's what you say on your shirt. Crop that, crop that. <laughs> you want these, be persistent, goddammit. They're worth the fight. That's what it says on the back. They're worth the effort. Shh. Shh. Okay, fine. All right. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Okay, let's wrap this up. Okay. Can I do that too? Yeah, of course you can do that too. My favorite shoes. I'll paint, paint them red at the, the, later yeah. on. In post, we'll put the red thing. Photoshop can do anything. <laughs> All right, so let's just, um, everybody check out Lace and Angels. That's not the club. Not the club. <laughs> if there are people naked doing backflips on a stripper pole, you're at the wrong place. Okay, just tell them who you are and whatever else you want to say, anything you want to say, even if you want to say something about me in Polish, I don't care, it'll be fun. And then just tell them at the end, they're watching Tan Chance TV. But it's all you. It's all you, no pressure. Don't screw this up. No cześć, jesteśmy tutaj w Chance TV. Um, Gada w tym pięknym kolesiem tutaj. O New York Fashion Week i w ogóle o życiu, o moim życiu. No i co, do zobaczenia. You said I have nice ears or something. All right, this is Chance <laughs> TV, and we are out with Maria Chatelovich, Vanovich, whatever. Not the, the last one we're gonna crop. <laughs> we ain't cropping nothing. This one's live, we're out. Bye.